welcome back to my channel this is keys playing life and i'm key so today we are going to do our flip it friday so on flipping fridays what we do is no, we normally count all the change we've gotten throughout the week and then we put it in um it's places where I store it, which happens to be little piggy banks. And those banks we end up turning in at the end of the year and seeing what we have left over and we split it into fours. We put it in we put some in our emergency, some in our rainy day, some in our um, retirement, and some in my personal spending money. So at the end of the year, that is what we'll do. But today we're gonna count what we have saved for the week so let's get started as you guys know i always keep everything in here but i had a couple of um uh, some change and a dollar bill in my wallet still that i hadn't taken out so i took it out today so let's go in here and see what we have Ooh. okay i'm taking out my pen sitting it to the side if I can okay there we go and I had to use a rubber mat to kind of my my table is a mirror table and I had table and I had to use a rubber mat to keep it from reflecting back at you guys so that is what you're seeing and I got it from Dollar Tree hold on one second all right y'all <laughs> I'm sorry I'm honest to honestly playing connect for with my son while I'm filming this which is crazy Okay, so let's get the money in order and put everything where it goes. And this is just one of the ways that I save money. I do have other ways that I save. I do contribute to each savings account every month, but this is just one of the ways that helps me save money. And you'll be surprised how much money you save when you are actually actually using cash hold on so here we go all these ones there's a lot of ones so let's just make sure they're in order And if y'all hear any noise, my dog is over here tearing one of my husband's slippers up. He's like, aren't you going to go stop him? No, I'm not. All right. So we got that there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring this down so it can be in frame. All right, let's get the change in order. So we have... That's already looking good right there. Okay, y'all. So, we are now doing... I've got some of the change in order. So, now we're doing the pennies. All right. Okay. <coughs> now, everybody want to start calling my phone. Okay, so let's get it started. Let's see what we had last week. Where is it? Is it in the front? It might be in the front. I'm so unorganized. Okay, so on the third, we had, so far, we saved $41.87, and that totaled out to $115.10. As you guys know, we've just recently started counting this money. At first, I wasn't going to count it, so we probably have way more than $115 in this um, bank. Um, but... I started this I decided to start counting it in May and that is what we've counted up so far in May. Um no this hasn't been a every week thing just because I don't have change every any change every week. So when I do have change for that week, that is when I do them do these uh type of videos. So, let's see. Let's let's get started. Oh, I hate my phone. Hold on. 
Okay. Mm. Can hold on. So we are doing this for July the seventeenth, twenty twenty. We did not have um anything for the tenth, so here we go let's get started because i don't want this video to be long so we're going to start with the change first so we have two dollars and quarters and then we have 10 20 30 40 50 in dimes so let's just write that i use normally use a scratch piece of paper to log all this so that is what we're going to do so there is two dollars and then 50 cent, so that equals 250. And then we have five, 10, 15, 20 cent in nickels. So that's 2 dollars and 70 cent. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cent in pennies. That's 279 in change. So we'll Put this in our change jar first and then we'll get continue to count the bills one second okay guys so let me adjust this to camera and fix you guys hold on okay so we're putting the change in the in the piggy bank There we go. All right, so we have put all the change in the piggy bank. Okay, so now we're gonna count the bills. And in ones we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen dollars in ones, and we have five, ten, fifteen, fifteen dollars in fives. So that gives us a total of $29 and then when you add the two seventy nine that gives us nine ten eleven thirty one dollars and seventy nine cents oh we're doing y'all we making major progress so that is thirty one dollars seventy nine cents and that equals, let's use our calculator because sometimes I miss a step or I miss a number by accident. 31.79 plus 115.10. That is $147. $147. So far, we have $147. And like I said, it's probably definitely more than that. That is just what we've counted up so far so now we're going to put the bills in the other bank and as you guys know i use a clear bank for that and i got that from it's not necessarily a bank it's a little thing i got from dollar from the dollar store 147 dollars um like i said i am doing a giveaway at the end of the year and i know it's kind of early but we still have what six months five months to go before the end of the year which is crazy because we've been under quarantine um at least four of these months since this epidemic thing has started so that's really really crazy um this is our new normal um the kids will probably be starting school homeschooled um they are they are already aware of that um i have to do what is best for my family and it is what it is but um i am doing a giveaway at the end of the year 
um, to whoever guesses how much money is exactly who, how much money is in this bank, including the change, not just this, but including the change all together. How much I have all together will win a prize. So all you have to do is comment in the comment section every time we do one of these videos or at least comment once in one one of the videos and let me know how much you think will be in these buckets or how much we'll be cashing in at the end of the year so i'm just folding all this up to put in here My dog, look what he's doing to your shoe. My dog is over here going crazy with my daughter's shoe as if it tried to attack him. I feel like she's been kicking my dog with her shoe because he's really aggressive <laughs> with this flip flop. <laughs> all right, guys. So we have all the money for this week put in the bank. And I cannot wait to take this and count it up and see what we have at the end of the year. And I am looking forward to seeing if I save any money next year. I don't, I mean, next week, I'm not sure if I will. But this has been fun and I'm feeling um, really good about the progress we made. We went from having eight, saving $18.96 to $21.00 to $33 to $73.23 to $115.10 to $147 and every week it varies some like you see some days I might save 18 some days I might save 21 some days I might do 33 some days I might do 41 some that just goes to show you how much money you actually spend um a week and how much money you can actually save so yeah this is my five and fives and one challenge for 2020 um i can't wait till next week like i said and i will see you guys in the next oh i know this smoke detectors line i will see you guys in the next video bye